So don't go straight across though. Oh. Oh. Wait, I let know. It go. I, I cut a let lot there. Wait, stop. Let it go. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Great. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on here and teaching me how to cut my bangs. <laughs> yes, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Yeah, I am so nervous. I feel like I'm going to mess this up. I've seen people <laughs> on, recently on like TikTok like doing this thing and cutting it. Like, no. Yeah, I wouldn't. I've been seeing that too and I'm like, mm, it's a cute idea but it never really works out in the way you want it to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where do you usually work out of? And um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. I've lived in New York City the past five years, six years almost. Um, I've worked in several very high-end salons around the city and worked on my own private clients. And now I'm a YouTuber. I have my own hair care company. So I have quite a lot going on and it's really exciting. Yes, ex Mondo hair. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I just want to show you where my hair is right now. It is like medium length. My bangs, the last time I cut them, um, it was probably like December. So, I mean, my hair is like this now. Oh They're long. <laughs> <laughs> They've gotten long. <laughs> So I have a few brushes with me um, and I have a few scissors. Do you have a preference? We don't really need the teasing brush, but we like the, the comb in the middle, the black one is probably perfect. We, we don't need the other one either. Just the, just the black one's fine. Okay. And then my scissors, I have these giant ones from the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> I also brought this one from the kitchen too. It's like the widest scissors. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wide. <laughs> And then, I mean, I have these, like, kind of... Oh, okay. Those look better. Okay. Typically, I would say, in try to try to find a pair of, you know, cutting scissors to work with. I mean, they are made a lot different than, you know, office scissors, but, you know, people might not have that at home, so I totally understand. These are proper hairdressing scissors. Okay. So they're... They're quite skinny and very sharp. They cut through the hair so nicely and they leave the edges very blunt um, without like shredding them at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get a little bit of like shredding going on when you have to like continuously cut the same piece over and over again in order to get it cut. But in this situation, it's not like the biggest deal in the world. Yeah. It would just make it easier for you. What is like the biggest mistake you see people make when they're cutting bangs or generally cutting their hair at home? Definitely going too short, mm -hmm. too fast. Normally in the salon, we'd probably cut on wet hair, but mm -hmm. when you're doing it on yourself, you really want to make sure that you're cutting the right length right from the start. Mm -hmm. uh, and when hair is wet, it's a lot longer than when it's dry and styled. So you want to see it exactly how you're going to wear it and then cut from there. Another thing I see a lot is people just go straight across and we don't want to do that. Like we definitely want to do point cutting, which is when you go, upwards instead of horizontally. It's kind of like upwards with a little bit of slant. Like that, kind of. Yeah. Okay. That'll give you less of a blunt edge. It'll be like a safety for you, just in case like <laughs> you cut too short, you can always kind of like feather it down a little bit. My bangs currently are here. Is so I like to definitely part the hair where you're gonna normally part it. And if people say that they don't normally have a part, then we would do the middle. Just comb yes. it back for oh, me. Yes. And kind of see where it falls. Okay. Yeah, I think we should work on that part. That's right there. You're seeing that. Do you mind if I get a mannequin and like show you what to do? I don't mind. That would that would help. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Here's my client. <laughs> On one side, we are taking just that little triangle out. I'll show you this section. So like, it's kind of like a slant down. Oh, now I see what you mean. And then we're gonna match again on the other side so that you're getting this kind of larger triangle. Because, meh? <laughs> Close. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's try that side again. Yeah, perfect. Now go all the way down and then part that out. Perfect, okay, now put that behind your ear. Okay. 
And then why don't you just pull pull a tight ponytail back with that hair you have? Okay. I think sectioning is pretty hard. It's not flawless, but it's, it really isn't going to make a huge difference. Okay. I find that a lot of people don't know how to use a, co a comb properly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's normal. People don't know how to like lay a comb down on the head and get a section clean. Um, I've noticed that through like teaching my brother how to do stuff and like teaching just normal people how to cut hair. Nobody knows how to use a comb because people don't really use combs that often at home. We're gonna take out just a small section from that whole section you have, just in the middle. So like, it doesn't need to be perfect, just like a smaller bit down the center. Like this? Okay, maybe just a little bit smaller than that. Okay. All right, so okay. it's gonna be our sort of guide, right? So let's get this one right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay, so we're going to start off cutting. We're going to cut it very long first. So you don't actually have to hold it. So I would just let it do its thing. Okay. So your head's going to move moved a little bit forward. Yeah. And you're going to start right on the side, just taking a little bit out at a time. Right around, like, let's just start off at your eye level. Yeah. But not... So don't go straight across. Though. Oh. Hold the scissors a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Like, like this. Not horizontally, just a little bit off. <laughs> Here they yeah, go. And just make... <laughs> yeah, perfect. You're doing so good. Let's go a little bit shorter. Now that we have the technique down, okay. let's take off just a little bit more. We can work our way up. Yeah, you don't have to hold the hair. Just keep cutting into it. Okay. This way the hair is laying exactly where you're gonna wear it. If we hold it with our hand, it's gonna end up bouncing up a little bit. So we don't want that to happen. So we're just going to cut it in its natural position. Interesting. And you wouldn't recommend like holding it in the brush either? Oh, you totally could if you feel comfortable with that. I might. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, I know. I, I cut a let lot there. Wait, stop. Let it go. Okay. That looks like a good length, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That you just cut. So let's not go any shorter than that. <laughs> so just follow that piece across with the rest of the hair. You got this girl. You're killing it. Thank you. The other thing you can try, maybe it'll feel more natural for you to take the hair in your fingers like this. It's like you're making a scissor with your finger. Yeah. Oh, like this. Oh. Just don't, just don't pull on it too much. Yeah. Just, yeah. And you can move your fingers up a bit further. That way you can see more. There. Yeah. Oh, like that? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. These look great so Yay. far. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. we can move on cool. to the next step. And we can just take a little more hair out from those sections on each side. Like maybe half of that. Oh, like. A little bit more. A little bit more. So, you see that line we made with the, the bang in the front? Yes. Comb everything down. Perfect. Okay. Now, you're going to slightly go down with your cutting. So you're going to follow that line you already made and kind of round it out a little bit. Can I hold or no? I, I just... would just let it fall naturally. Okay. Just don't cut your eyelash. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was so you can actually on this side, start from the longer side oh, and okay. go up and, go. and you can meet it. Oh no, not the brush. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I. <laughs> it's okay. Uh oh. No, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, let me see it. All right, yeah, just that longer piece needs to go and then I think we'll, we can connect that. Be careful around your eyes, it's making me really nervous. Oh, sorry. <laughs> cool. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cool. So follow that line you already made. Yeah, start on the inside. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, stop there. Okay. All right, let me see uh, forward. Oh. That actually looks good. I mean, we're just missing another piece on the other side. Yeah. I think we took a bigger section on the other side, so it's fine. Take off that little eye. Yeah. Cool. Okay, now let's let's brush the rest of the bang forward, that, that section we didn't finish yet oh. on each side. And what we're gonna do is just comb it down on one side. Comb one yeah. side down. So where we finished that last section, mm -hmm. just slowly chomp at that hair a little bit and just give it a little bit of roundness, like what we've been doing. But just don't, you don't have to take a lot off. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. And let's work on the other side and we can do the same thing if you feel comfortable with that. 
That looks good. Now just connect the bottom a little bit more. Good, I think that's really good. So now let's get into styling them so we can see how they're really laying down. Cool. All right, so um, do you have anything to wet your hair with or like kind of wet your comb and maybe wet your bangs a little bit? Yeah, I have some water here. Perfect, yeah, let's cool. just, you can like dip the comb in if you are okay with that and like. Yeah, uh, audience, I'm not gonna drink out of this after <laughs> I do this. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. And just get right at the root with that water. And now let's grab the round brush and a blow dryer. Do you have a blow dryer? I do. And let's just do a simple round brush blow dry on the bangs. Sometimes my hair dryer has like, it's janky as well. <laughs> okay, just like, <laughs> totally just good. roll it down and brush. Okay. Yeah. Let down the rest of your hair for me. Well, that was supposed to be glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> and then give everything a brush. Okay. And then I see that long piece at the end. Yes. Can you cut? Can you cut that off? Like this, off entirely. Yeah, just cut it off. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Now let that go. Oh, perfect. You caught that from three thousand miles away <laughs> on a virtual web webcam, and I couldn't see it with like four cameras set up in front of me. <laughs> It's so good. I'm so happy. Thank you. I love it. I absolutely love it. I like that they're long. I'm pretty sure a week later, I'm going to probably have to go in and like shorten them. But for now, I like yeah. how it's just like subtle. It's fun. And, and it's like framing my face. And for your first time, I don't think we should try and go any shorter just in case like things go wrong. And the, the better you get at this, you can definitely go shorter and shorter if you feel comfortable. But I think this is a great place to start for you. It looks fabulous. Yay! Thank you so much. I absolutely love them. I guess I just want to hear from you, like, what do you recommend people do right now to support hairstylists and um, brands and just anything that people can do to support you guys? You can work with them virtually, you know, people can teach you how to do hair through, web through webcam like I am, especially supporting like indie brands. Uh, is really important right now. You know, tell your hairstyles you miss them. <laughs> it's, it means a lot, you know? We love our clients and we love to hear from them. Thank you, again. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I hope you love your bang. Look at all that mess. I did, I did such a great job.